This is everything you need to know about Tuesday's update. So first things first, this update is releasing on April 9th or is supposed to come out on April 9th. We never know with delays what is going to happen. Now, this is the first update that is happening since the March 26th Mechanical Mayhem update that released. Now, the first thing that I do want to talk about before we officially start this video is we have a few things that are confirmed that they have stated that they're working on for this update for LEGO Fortnite. But if you're somebody that is looking for more game breaking or a crazy amount of content that is going to release in the game, I don't believe that this is the update for you. I don't think this is a large content update. I do believe this is more of a stability and bug fix update, but we will absolutely see as we get more information from LEGO over the next few days. Now, the first thing that we can confirm for next week is that they are working on an issue where it seems that people are getting a connection error when trying to enter their Lego Fortnite world. Now, I could be 100% wrong about this, but I did start receiving the matchmaking error when trying to load back into my world after doing this aircraft glitch that I showed you guys in my last few videos. Now, with this, you actually spawn yourself or put yourself outside of the player access area so you're actually technically outside of the map which now means they won't spawn you back into the map because they have nowhere to spawn you because you're not in the map so i'm not sure if this is the matchmaking error that epic is talking about and other people are also reporting this glitch to them and showing that you cannot get back into your world but it also could just be that people are experiencing regular matchmaking errors when trying to load into lego fortnite and it does seem like like they are trying to work on this while also confirming that this update is happening next week which could be that april 9th update day now we still have more to talk about that epic has confirmed for this update but i do just want to say that this does kind of hint at the fact that this update is strictly going to be a stability update for bugs and issues with the game Typically, when there's something that is a big enough problem, like a matchmaking error, they work to just drop a hot fix on it to begin with. Now, it seems like they're waiting until this specific day to drop this update. So I'm not sure if that's because they wanted to just save it specifically for this day, or if this day is only going to be a stability and bug fix update, and that is why they're going to wait. I will say from my perspective, I don't mind them not dropping content this update and worrying specifically on fixing the bugs and the issues in the game and then dropping content in the next update which happens in two weeks i think that the bugs and the issues are the bigger problem in the game rather than needing brand new content now we also have another update that is coming specifically for the fix which happens to do with players vehicles partially or entirely vanishing in the game. Now, if you're not somebody that has dealt with this glitch, let me tell you exactly what's going on. What's happening in this game right now is when it comes to the mechanical mayhem vehicles, whether it's the prefabs or even custom vehicles, it seems like dynamic foundations are glitched right now. At least that's what my theory is. And whenever you're flying your aircraft, occasionally when you go into a cave or exit a cave or run out of the render distance and come back, it seems as though your aircraft or your vehicle will disappear. And if that vehicle has chests on it that have loot, that will also disappear. Now, some people have found that if you log out of the game and sign back in, you will get those items back. However, not every person that has experienced this issue is having that easy of a solution, and some of them are just permanently losing their items, which is extremely unfortunate, as I've seen people say that they've had stacks of cursed bones and iron and iron bars and things from chests that they know they now can't get back disappear in these chests that were on their vehicles and now they have lost out on hours and hours of loot now a fortnite data miner also updated us about two weeks ago that said the next update to come to lego fortnite is polar bears and an osiris cave type now we didn't get that in the mechanical mayhem update but what he might have meant was the next update after mechanical mayhem because this was announced at the time would be polar bears and an osiris cave type now I cannot confirm that 100% to come this update, but we do know this is coming. The data miner did say in the next update, so maybe we're getting at this week. Another really good way to go ahead and find out what's going on with the game is to speak to your villagers. If you guys haven't known, when you talk to these villagers and you just hold a regular discussion or regular chat with them, occasionally they will talk about future leaks and updates that are happening within the game. 
So sometimes you will actually hear them discuss a polar bear or different type of take, uh, caves that are coming in the game. So they do bring a little bit of validity into that leak that we just spoke about. We also know that inside of the snow biome, they did just give us brand new food items that come from there. So it does appear as though they are trying to give us incentives to go to these biomes, which may ultimately mean that at some point we will be getting polar bears in that area. So that leak or that update should be true. It's just a matter of when. A mechanical mayhem was two weeks ago and we did already have this leaked image here, which was somebody asking if Rocket Race vehicles would be supported in Lego Fortnite and one of the developers or one of the moderators inside of that chat room said that not at launch but they are looking into this now we did obviously just get vehicles into the game in the most recent update so does that mean that we're getting rocket racing vehicles next we're not 100% sure I will say that if they do add this stuff it should either be free or extremely low costing considering that rocket racing vehicles made into Legos is obviously going to be difficult work to do and hopefully they transfer over from rocket racing just like normal skins do into lego fortnite now while talking about the pricing of things if you guys did not know they did release a player survey and they asked people why they decided not to buy a lego kit now i will say that that is very likely to do with not a lot of sales going towards those kits now if there's not a lot of sales going to those kits there's two ways that epic can approach this that first way is obviously raising the prices because that will make them more money with the small group of people that are buying or the smarter solution, which is going to be selling more kits at a cheaper cost and lowering all of the prices. I do hope that they lower all of the prices. I would have to imagine that most people that went ahead and answered this survey, if they played Lego, were all saying they didn't buy the Lego set because it's too expensive. And I would imagine that the people that don't play Lego reported that they don't play Lego. So that should mean that only the people that said that they're too expensive will have their opinions viewed by Epic. So hopefully that means they are going to lower the prices of things and maybe in the future or even in this update, we do see a change in price to the Lego sets and anybody that has already purchased them will obviously get a credit back for their Lego kits, just like they did with Rocket Racing. Now, I'm somebody that definitely believes that we need more stability and bug fixes in the game, more so than we need new content, but I want to know what you guys think as well. So comment down below one thing that you need to see in Tuesday's update that obviously isn't the brand new Rift biome or the Dark Forest biome. I want to see where the community stands as far as what Epic needs to do to make LEGO Fortnite better.